Welcome to the Kenyan Sports Connection. I'm Ryan Gasser, and it is swim and dive season. And with me is the Lords and Ladies head swim coach, Jess Book. And we'll start with the ladies. Coach Book, last year you went all the way to the Nationals, cleaned up in a runner-up finish, practically rewrote the entire Kenyan record book, and won NCAA Coach of the Year honors. So with the bar set so high, what is there to accomplish, and what is the approach uh, coming into this season? Sure. The approach is, is a variation on the same thing most years, and that's trying to be the best team we possibly can be. And that's the real exciting challenge of any season is understanding that we are a different team this year than we were last year. We'll be a different team next year than we are this year, and trying to take this group of women or men and help them grow into being the best team they possibly can be. What does that mean at this point? It's too early to say. Uh, we've got a competitive team, we've got some wonderful returners, a great incoming freshman class, but we need to compete a little bit to figure out what we can do this year. But ultimately it's to get in there, it's to compete, it's to be special, it's to be exciting, it's to do things at the end of the season that make people really proud of Kenyan swimming and diving. Certainly did that last year, taking it all the way up uh, to the national podium and Talking about those returners that are going to help you get back there, uh, beginning with the senior class, a very solid group that sometimes mm-hmm. um, you know, didn't get the kudos that they deserved, and they mm-hmm. definitely did uh, deserve those. So just talk about the senior class that uh, is coming back, what their expectations are of them. It's a special group, and this is the group that I started coaching at Kenyon with. And so when I was a first-year head coach, they were freshmen. And so in many ways, this is the group that I've matriculated with as well. A very diverse group of women, uh, which I I love. That's something I really love about this program and this place. Um, They're really passionate about school and swimming, as you would hope about any Kenyan student as well. But uh, they're really going to be a class that uh, leaves a legacy here in terms of their uh, redefinition of a Kenyan women's swimming program, specifically. Uh, When we came in together... The team is going through some transition, but now at this point, I think they have a pretty firm understanding of who they are and what they can do competitively. And so it's fun to watch them go through that growing process, both as individuals, but also to help the team go through that process as well. They're strong leaders, they're strong women, and definitely going to do some special things this year. And I'm certainly sure that they hope to go out on top as well as uh, in the program. Now to the junior and sophomore classes, they grew up really quickly, uh, matured a lot both in and out of the pool. Talk about what they can possibly improve upon this season as uh, compared to last. Uh, we can always get better. Uh, what can they specifically get better at? I think you have to look at each each woman, talk about what she needs to do to be her best. I don't think there's anything that you can say as kind of a blanket statement. Just continue to grow, continue to challenge yourself, continue to want to be your best. Hold yourself to a high standard. Understand that uh, high standards are good, but they also can be limiting as well. And so don't get so hell-bent that you have to achieve X, Y, or Z. And if you don't, that's the worst thing in the world. But uh, I think for each of them it's something different. I don't think it's as simple as saying the juniors need to do X and the sophomores need to do Y. Uh, just continue to kind of be fully immersed in the program and have that level of passion high. And now to the great unknown, the freshman class that will be new yeah. to everybody's eyes this season. Yeah. They could make an immediate impact this season. And So just talk about some of those that we may see shine in the pool this season. It's a good class. It's a good class. Uh, just like the other ones, very diverse. Uh, I don't know how many states they represent, but uh, probably eight or nine states out of the group, which is pretty exciting for me as well. Um, good diversity in terms of what they swim as well, so we're going to be filling some some areas that we weren't as strong in historically are going to be stronger this year. Um, distance freestyle, middle distance to distance freestyle. Um, <clears throat> breaststroke will get a little bit better for us this year based on that class. Uh, they're, they're good. They're very good. As with any freshman class, it is the big unknown, though. We don't know where they are yet. Um, I think they've done a nice job in the pool. I think they're settling the Kenyon well. We've done one-on-one meetings the last week and a half where I spend about an hour with each of them to kind of get the sense of who they are and where they're from, and they seem to be settling in well. I think everyone's excited to compete this weekend uh, and just start that process, whatever that ends up meaning. Not Again, don't get too fixated on a particular time, but just to start racing this weekend. In terms of people that might stand out in that class, Um, We'll wait and see. When you're looking at filling out that starting lineup, Mm the season begins on uh, Saturday, but Mm -hmm. the 
the whole season is just a, a kind of maturation process that you witness from beginning to end. Mm-hmm. Is there a point where you begin to sol- you know, just solidly say that these are the ladies that we're going to go with in these specific events, or is it basically week to week and it can change on a dime? Sure. Um, we probably have a pretty good sense of who will be in which events, <clears throat> but things change and things need to change as well. Um, our lineup week to week will change based on who we're competing against, trying to uh, use people who have multiple talents in areas that can be more effective, but also to give our girls a chance to swim different events too. Um, we are a team that likes to swim lots of different things. And so even if someone is a very traditionally strong in, in one or two events, it's nice to get outside of those events occasionally as well and swim something different because you never know. It's fun, but you, you never know. You never know if an event will come to life that you didn't expect as well. So um, in terms of exactly the makeup of the team, the roster, that will, that will change a bit, but I could probably on paper guess it pretty closely right now in terms of what the events would swim at the end. And the one program that is uh, joined with the swim program is the dive program. Mm-hmm. And last year it seemed to be kind of on the quiet side. I'm mm-hmm. uh, not sure what was, uh, what was going to be expected of it. And then by the end of the season, boom, they're right up there mm-hmm. on the top of the podium with uh, Maria Zarka leading the way. Just mm-hmm. talk about how that moved from such a quiet stage to such a prominent part of the program and what the expectation is this year. Uh, it's this group of divers. We've got... Um, Make sure I get my head right here. We've got four sophomores and two freshmen. And so it's extremely young. And the four sophomores came in last year as four freshmen, uh, Maria certainly being one of them. And they formed a very, very tight bond with one another and really kind of tapped into not only their group dynamic but the larger dynamic of Kenyan swimming and diving with with a wholeheartedness that was really refreshing, a chance to really kind of compete at a high level and desire to be something pretty exciting too. And so Maria came in with the most experience and then um, Brandon on the men's side came in with the most experience there. And then two freshman divers last year who are now sophomores who came in with very, very little experience, but they really committed themselves fully to learning and getting better and helping the program grow and they did. And so they all played a role together. Uh, It was a, I always like to think of us in many ways as as, as an avalanche. Uh, we start slow, but we gather a lot of momentum as we go, and that happens in the pool. It happens on the board. Uh, who we are this weekend is probably not going to really represent who will be at the conference championship ship meet in February and in civil A's in March. But we're starting to lay that groundwork. You know, swimming is very interesting in that sense, is we're not uh, we're a very training dependent sport. It takes us a lot of time to get to the place we need to be our best. So. We're just settling into that. All right. And head diving coach Andy Scott should be given a lot of kudos for the help, mm-hmm. helping build both of the programs mm-hmm. on each side of the board there. And that season will start on October 19th with the Kenyan Relays here at the Steen Aquatic Center, which is newly minted. And uh, that meet will begin at 12 p.m. Be sure to visit athletics.kenyan.edu for the full schedule for both the Lords and Ladies Swim and Dive programs and follow along all season as we try to return to the national championships that will have a new location this season. For head coach of the Swim and Dive program, Jess Book, I am Ryan Gasser of the Kenyan Sports Connection. Thanks for joining us, and go Lords, go Ladies.